There are two types of reproduction in plants. The asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. We did discuss it in our last video. Now we will focus on the stages in sexual reproduction in plants. The flower is one part of the plant. It contains its reproductive parts. It is where the gametes are formed, the male and the female cells. These gametes must meet to form a seed. The seed germinates to become a new plant. Let us talk about the stages in the sexual reproduction in plants. This is the flower. The male reproductive part of the flower is called the stamen. It includes the anther and the filament. The female reproductive part is the carpel or pistil. It includes the stigma, style, and ovary. Welcome to my learning journey with Teacher Jeffrey. Our topic for today is about the stages in the sexual reproduction in plants. Come and dive in. Our objective is to state the stages in the sexual reproduction in plants. Before we start with the lesson, we need to take note where the gametes are. The male gamete is in the anther and the female gamete is in the ovule. The goal is for the gametes to meet. We will start the lesson. Let's go! The first stage is pollination. Pollination is the transfer of pollen grain from the anther to the stigma. In this stage, the pollen which contains the male cell or gamete is transferred to the stigma from the male reproductive part, which is the anther, to the female reproductive part, which is the stigma. Pollination can occur in the plant itself or to another plant. But take note, it must be of the same species. When it occurs within a plant, it is called self-pollination. But when it occurs to another plant of the same species, it is called cross-pollination. In this stage, the pollen can be transferred by using agents like insect and wind. The second stage is the formation of the pollen tube. This stage occurs in the style. When the pollen reaches the stigma, it is germinated by an enzyme to form the pollen tube. Its goal is to reach the ovule. In this stage, pollen on the stigma reacts with the enzyme and develops a pollen tube in the style, leading the male gamete to meet the female gamete in the ovule. The third stage is fertilization. This will occur in the ovule. In this stage, the male gamete meets and fuses with a female gamete to form a zygote. The fourth stage is the formation of seed and fruit. In this stage, the ovule where fertilization occur becomes the seed and the ovary will become the fruit. As it develops, the other parts of the flower will wither and fall into the ground. An example is the tomato fruit. The fruit part which is juicy and fleshy is once the ovary, and where the seeds are is once the ovule. The fifth stage is seed dispersal. In this stage, the goal is to transfer the seed away from the parent plant. In this stage, if the fruit containing seed falls to the ground and germinates into a new plant, the area where the seed will grow will compete with the parent plant for 
sunlight, water, and nutrients. So seed dispersal is the spreading of seed away from the parent plant. Methods of seed dispersal are animal dispersal, water dispersal, wind dispersal, self ballistic, and by gravity. The sixth and the last stage is seed germination. Seed germination is the process wherein the seed develops into a new plant. With appropriate conditions like warmth, presence of oxygen, and moisture, the seed will develop into a new plant. For our summary, the stages in plant sexual reproduction are 1. Pollination 2. Formation of pollen tube 3. Fertilization 4. Formation of seed and fruit 5. Seed dispersal and lastly, 6. Seed germination For a quick check, write your answers in the comments below. State the stages in the sexual reproduction in plants. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for our upcoming videos. Please do not forget to share this video to your friends if it gives value to you. Always remember, a goal without a plan is just a wish. This is Teacher Jeffrey. Bye for now.